today we're going to talk about the trifold method of hooping. Um, I use this whenever I'm doing a pillow cover or something larger where uh, placement, I want perfect placement and maybe it isn't as easy. So today we're going to hoop our fabric for a pillow cover. We've already got a blind hem here for our buttonholes and a narrow edge hem here for the other side. Uh, so we're going to start. Our first thing is we're going to hoop with the right side or we're going to fold with the right side up. I'm going to take my top of my pillow and I'm going to fold it to the back. Wherever this hem lays on the back is where it's going to come together. So I would like it in the top third. So there's my buttonhole edge. I'm going to overlap where the buttons will go. So this is my first fold, fold one. Now I'm going to take and fold it left or right to left. This is fold two. Now I'm going to fold it bottom to top. And that is fold three, tri-fold. Okay, now I know that my absolute center of my embroidery area is this spot right here. I'm gonna take it over to my hoop and I will line up the little marks on my hoop with my cutting lines. So I know that wherever these intersect is the center of my design. If I just looked at this and eyeballed it, I would think my center was here. It doesn't matter what I think. The machine says where these lines intersect is the center of my design. So I'm gonna take my project that I've folded and I'm going to place that center of my point where these intersect and I can use the lines on my cutting table to line those up. Now all I have to do, because this is a sticky back stabilizer, is unfold my project and I press it as I go. And I just keep unfolding. So now my project is perfectly centered, it is stabilized, my first step in my embroidery will be a basting stitch just to secure it one more step and my hardest job at this point is to keep my project from under the hoop so that's it trifold method